Let's now bring in Stuart Coward, Manager, Public Programming and Media, uh, Barkville Historic Town and Park, regarded as the largest living history museum in Western North America. Stuart, thank you for joining us on CTV News Channel. Appreciate your time. My pleasure. So uh, talk to us about how it has been the last few hours, especially since the evacuation order. Well, you know, we started our day yesterday uh, seeing a plume of smoke coming up over Proserpine Mountain, and we wondered if perhaps it would be a day that is business as usual. And very quickly, we made the decision to cancel programming. And within a couple of hours, the emergency alert came through, and we started shuffling the few dozen people who were in the park that day uh, out of the park. And within a few hours after that, the uh, message came in that we were under orders to evacuate. And so we started packing everything up and getting all of our staff who weren't essential to stay behind and help BC wildfire services with uh, fighting the fire out of Barkerville, back to their homes and wells to pack up and start heading to Cornell and all points beyond. You know, the fire, as we know, has been growing rapidly and it is the weather conditions, lightning that is sparking many more fires. And it is, of course, a concerning situation over there. But Stuart, mm -hmm. talk to us about what do you know about how close really is the fire? Do you have any latest information of the dangers where the museum is concerned? Uh, the information that I have is that the fire is at least uh, within um, 10 to 5 to 10 kilometers away from Barkerville. Um, but the series of fire breaks have been put in place over the years, and I know that they've been putting fire breaks in place uh, over the last two days. And the structure protection units have been in Barkerville since the first alert came through for Cornish Mountain wildfire, and they've been installing sprinklers on the majority of the buildings, laying hoses, and getting pumps in the creek in order to keep the town damp and try mm. and keep the fire at bay. Uh, so tell us about the significance of Barkerville. Uh, Barkerville was at the center of the Caribou Gold Rush and survived long enough in order for it to uh, be preserved as a historic site in 1958. And so now it exists as a tourist attraction, but also a place to educate people on the past of British Columbia um, from the 1860s uh, up until now, and for us to reflect on that past and to learn from the successes and failures of those who came before us and to keep that strong in our memory. Um, it's important for um, educating people. It's also important for allowing people to transfer themselves back in time and see how people lived, see how different it was, but also how similar it was. Uh, Barkerville has faced fire before in 1868. The entirety of the town burned right to the ground, uh, with the exception of a few buildings in Chinatown, and they had to rebuild very quickly. And uh, so this is not a new thing, this sort of threat to the overall community of Barkerville, but it is definitely worrisome and just shows us that uh, people have the same fears no matter what era they yeah. may be living in. No, definitely this is extremely concerning for the community and the significance mm -hmm. of what it holds as you're describing to us, Stuart. A quick check on how far really are you from Barkerville and uh, what does the evacuation order say? Is there any update that you're expected to receive on when you could probably head back or when it will be safe for you to go and have a quick check? No, haven't heard anything yet on when it will be safe to go back. Um, I am in touch with our staff who are trained in fire protection, who are working with uh, BC Wildfire fire Services. So they are, have boots on the ground and they're keeping an eye on the buildings and doing everything they can to keep those pumps going. Um, but there's no word yet on when we might be able to go home or return to work. So we're just taking it a day at a time. I myself, I'm here in Quinnell at my mom's place, hunkered down. And uh, most of our staff are here in Quinnell, either with friends or family or at hotels that were set up for them by emergency services. Other people have decided just to go home for now uh, to places further beyond, such as um, Vancouver and Kamloops and whatnot. Stuart Coward, Manager, Public Programming and Media, Barkerville Historic Town and Park. We appreciate you taking out the time, speaking with us and wishing you all the best in these circumstances. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you for taking the time today.